Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Tamron Lens Utility app which was just launched on Android platform. Till that point, the Tamron Lens Utility was available only on your desktop. The Tamron Lens Utility is used basically to customize the buttons and the rings on your lens. Well, it is currently available for the Tamron AF2040, 2875, 35150 and the 50-400. What we have today is the 35150 lens. The Android app, in fact, is bringing something more than what the app on the, or rather, the utility on the desktop is offering you. The utility on the desktop is very simple. You All you need is a, a USB cable, which can be bought from uh, Tamron. Connect it to the USB slot, which is in your lens, meaning all the lenses that I've mentioned have it and uh, the other end onto your uh, desktop, laptop, whatever, and using which you can actually customize the rings and the buttons on your lens. Um, basically, there are three custom functions available. Custom one, two, three. I mean, it varies from uh, lens to lens. Uh, some lenses offer a whole lot of customization. Some doesn't offer as much 35 150 one of their most sought after lens in fact we had done a video i'll add a link in the description it's an amazing lens in big time short supply too in india anyway what we're going to talk about is how to customize the 35 150 and of course there are three buttons which which basically does the same function you know it, it is ergonomically positioned to suit your uh, hand positions the other one is this ring now this particular ring can be customized to be used as your focus ring or your aperture ring uh, and of course, the zoom will remain as zoom always, uh, but the other buttons can be customized. Now, there are three kinds of customizing options available in the app and also in the utility. First one is a camera control. So you can assign a particular camera control, things like white balance, ISO, something which you cannot very easily access from the, uh, you know, the LCD panel. The second custom function can be assigned as uh, the ring control, basically to toggle between this being the aperture ring or your focus ring. So one tap, it becomes aperture, another tap and it turns to become uh, a focusing ring. The third function is called the custom preset. Of course, uh, you can preset a particular point in your frame and grab that point as your preferred focusing point and from anywhere in your frame you can come to that point at the touch of this button you don't have to use the af of the camera or you don't have to manually focus at all one touch and it would always come back to your preset focus point and now the app is offering you another additional feature using which you can keep toggling between three focus points of your choice and it can be done using your app well let me show you it's exactly the same you will require the tamron's usb-c cable you connect it on to the usb slot of your uh, phone of course you need to download the app from uh, the play store start the app and it connects instantly like i told you the camera function ring function and the focus preset is already used it from the desktop what i am interested is in showing you the fourth option which is an amazing option using which you can remotely pull focus now all this while traditionally you as a hybrid cinematographer or video maker you've been using your button or your touch functions to pull focus or a follow focus right but cinematographers you call it as rack focus now rack focus is how they kind of convey a certain emotions they tell the story by you know controlling the speed in which they uh, pull that focus rack the focus uh, and shift from point a to point b the duration all that is under the control of the cinematographer in fact cinematographer uses uh, traditionally a uh, follow focus device like this which is usually pulled by another person who's called the focus puller 
he is like the eye of the cinematographer he is the one who pulls the focus so he decides point a point b point c whatever and they rehearse it and they pull this using this device called the follow focus now modern cameras use that same technique using a remote uh, follow focus so a motorized uh, focus sits on the lens uh, and it is geared and uh, the focus puller stands remotely and pull it remotely but i also hear that uh, more lenses are being uh, made compatible to the app but if you are using any of those lenses you can create very cinematic kind of focus racking using the app what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my 35 150 and the app and i'm going to demonstrate you how it can be done okay so i'm all set to shoot at uh, the lens camera and the app mounted on the hot shoe i am recording the screen externally and i have three of our guys in three different distances Pratik in the foreground just in the middle ground and the far end I have drove the trick is and what we're trying to do is to rack the focus remotely so I need to access the remote uh, function and it will open up to a screen like this in order to set the first focusing point I have to first bring the uh, camera's focusing point onto my first preferred focusing point. Now, Pratik is the first focusing point. Of course, the lens has to be in AF mode and I've now focused Pratik. I need to now click the set button, go to AB focus and here you can actually control the duration or the time taken to achieve that particular focusing point. Since it's the first focusing point, I'm going to say zero you need to go there instantly and I'm going to save it I need to click and hold number one button till I see a red uh, square blinking which means the focus is achieved and the app has recorded the first point then you move the cursor to your second focusing preferred focusing point which is Jason and Jason is in a serious mood uh, let me go to AB focus. I'm going to take three seconds to go to Jason's focus. All right. And I'm going to save it and I'm going to press hold number two till I see that flashing of that pink square, which means the second focus is also grabbed. Now I'm going to, okay. Now the roof's focus is achieved and I'm going to pick the second AB focus. I'm going to say from Jason, the focus will take about eight seconds. Okay, it's a slow focus. And I save it and I'm going to grab focus. Okay, one thing about we need to be careful about is after doing all those things, the system or the app will have pushed the lens to a manual focus mode. So we need to switch that to AF mode. Press one and it will instantly grab the first focusing and second focus which is Jason's face he is now in focus and eight seconds to grab through you can actually repeat this how many other times that you want it'll still as long as your subjects are in that spot it will continue to kind of repeat this action without any problem. Let me also grab this in high resolution. Now the focusing points are all set and I'm going to grab the first focus. Bang on. The second focusing point in three seconds. Second focusing point. And now that is grabbed, I'm going to go to the third focusing point, which is right at the end in eight seconds it's back on now what the app is offering is an ability to control the speed in which you can rack the focus which is from zero seconds which is instant to 99 seconds now try doing that with a manual follow focus mode 99 second precision i think it's it's a big uh, question mark Doing the same with a remote control was also exactly the same. Again, the other option is to touch the rear screen, right? Even there, there are some 
predetermined uh, i mean it's all controlled by or determined by the firmware of the camera you can you know there is a limit to that kind of control which is available here zero that is instant to 99 seconds for three up to three focusing points that i think is the usb of this app and it's very convenient you can watch as it happens on your screen any fine tuning instantly available i think uh, this app has really made the tamron lenses even more desirable than it is currently well i'm going to really enjoy doing this in the studio because we have a couple of uh, tamrons this app is now available on play store go there download it it's absolutely free make sure that you have the original tamron cable that's it i'll see you in another video bye for now